Hello guys and welcome back to the Zain Investing. Earlier in the day, AMSE stock was in the throes of defeat, down almost 5%. However, the price has since recovered and is currently just down 1%. Since then, the markets have recovered somewhat, but you're still down about 0.5% on the S and P500. Now, none of this is relevant. Tomorrow's trading day will be determined by Netflix's earnings once they are released after the market closes, and we'll consider any economic data we have or any Fed speakers who may be speaking tomorrow that could assist counteract possible market anxiety or pressure. However, tomorrow may be a significant day for AMC stock. And that is what we will emphasize in this video featuring the giant bounce boys. Moreover, I am not a financial advisor, thus I do not own a crystal ball. Do I know what will occur or am I qualified to provide you with specialized financial advice? No one is permitted to do so when addressing hundreds or thousands of people. That is not good. Contact a financial advisor if you do not know what you are doing, if you do not know how to trade or invest, and if you do not know what kind of risk you are taking. So that someone may guide you in the proper route, but just following trades or suggestions you hear online or relying solely on data is not a winning strategy. Therefore, you should not do that. This is the preferred. I'm going to provide you for this video since the topic we'll be discussing is interesting. Guys, I cannot tell you a lie. This has occurred in the past with these huge bounces, and there is a great deal of possibility there. So let's begin watching this video. Click this button to subscribe to this channel. Provide your comments, questions, or concerns in the space below. Now, the very first thing I wish to discuss in this video is what occurred today. If you did not view the previous video, a few things have occurred today. Consequently, Fed Governor Governor Lael Brainard anticipates high interest rates notwithstanding the decline in inflation. Jerome Powell views this as the number two. She serves as vice chair, comparable to the vice president, regarding the president. Therefore, for lack of a better example, she is extremely important and a member with voting rights. So her vote and words do matter for 2023, and she supports a higher Fed rate for a longer period. So that was crucial. Additionally, today's initial jobless claims were stronger than anticipated. However, this is negative for the markets since it indicates that the labor market is extremely tight. And we'd have already discussed this information, so I do not wish to dwell on it for too long it did contribute to the current decline in the markets. At one time, the S&P was down more than 1%. Now you are down half of 1%. Consequently, you have recouped a portion of your early trading losses. That is unquestionably a good thing. ANC's market share has decreased from 5 to 6% to the current level, with a decline of approximately 1% at various stages, or a decline of less than that. Therefore, it positions us slightly better for Netflix results, which will be crucial for the entire technology industry. This is the first technological stock for which we will receive earnings. Right. Mike Wilson is the leading economist for 2022, and he is employed at Morgan Stanley. You've, you've seen him before. I'm sure you'd recognize his face. You'd recognize his voice. The markets usually pay attention to his words, but not this time. Essentially, he repeats over and over that this earnings season should be approached with caution since expectations are excessively high. In addition, analyst estimates, actual price goals, IPS figures, and margins have not decreased. So you're approaching earnings when retail sales are poor, correct? Retail sales were very weak. Recent developments have not been favorable for the consumer or retail spending along these lines. Well, you're on track to make the same amount for the same time period and risk is not priced adequately into this market. Now, Netflix will publish earnings for the fourth quarter after the closing bell. Here is what to anticipate. Netflix is slated to disclose earnings for the fourth quarter after the closing bell. The streaming service, the new ad-supported service, and Netflix's crackdown on password sharing will be highlighted. According to anticipated revenue of $7.85 billion and expected global paid net subscriber additions of $4.57 million, Wall Street anticipates EPS of $0.45 per share. I believe the estimations to be somewhat optimistic, especially about the number of subscribers. As a result, I am a little skeptical of how much Netflix's stock has risen since their previous earnings report 
and how high their expectations are. This is mostly due to the fact that Netflix raised its guidance for the previous quarter, which contributed to the stock's gain. So we'll find out if all of that was just chatter or if the expectations were accurate. If Netflix gains 10 million customers, for example, that would be a tremendously beneficial development for technology. Tomorrow will be a busy day for you. It will help AMC have a successful day and vice versa. If they add 1 million or are in negative territory for any reason, tomorrow will be a bad day for the markets and for AMC stockholders. And, as I mentioned with Michael Wilson, he believes the S&P might fall to between 300 and 330 during earnings season. Unlike Q2, Q3 and Q4, he predicts that this earnings season might witness a 20% loss since results are likely to be so poor and because all expectations that should have been reset previously will be reset significantly to the downside. And what it is just just to like kind of make it make sense. It's where there's a lot of option activity and a lot of in-the-money puts, which become out of the money if the stock rises. This is the result of market maker buying pressure. If you have calls that are out of the money, or a large number of them, and the stock begins to rise, you will lose money. The market makers are exerting purchasing pressure. However, why is timing so crucial? If this option expires on Friday, market makers will be required to purchase all of the shares for out of the money puts and in the money calls by the conclusion of the trading day on Friday. There is no hey, we have two weeks left before expiration. There is no need to hedge out all of these contracts. No, you got two hours until expiration. Now is the time to hedge out these contracts. On these days, there may be a great deal of volume, and the stock's price may rise quite aggressively. And we have seen this a number of times in the past with major expirations, where the beginning of the week would be bad. And then Thursday and Friday, or perhaps simply Thursday or Friday, are extraordinarily upbeat for no apparent reason. Receiving no news, it is due to the option action, gentlemen. So let's examine the numbers. There are presently 38,561 calls in the money and 488,000 callers out of the money. In the money indicates that 142,000 indicates that they are out of the money which is 184,000. So, these are some extremely high numbers. In addition, when viewed from a technical perspective, AMC appears to be in excellent shape, particularly following today's partial recovery rally. However, markets are giving up a bit as the day draws to a close, so AMC's outlook is not perfect. Imagine what the price of AMC guys would be like if 5 million shares were had to be purchased immediately. Please leave your comments, questions, opinions, and concerns in the space below under comments. What do you anticipate tomorrow will bring? What impact do you believe Netflix's results will have on the markets? Thank you for watching, gentlemen. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel source if you have any comments, questions, or concerns in the space below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I will see you in the following one.